Hello guys, it's Peter from PS Sound and yeah, you have seen this car quite a few times on the channel. This is one of our biggest clients and biggest projects. Uh, we have built a few cars for him and uh, we can't count how many times this BMW 6 GT came back. You, you don't know it, do you? He really? spends more time with it than me. <laughs> charging rental fees. Yeah. Well, no, I should charge, you know, storage space probably. No, no, it was only only this last few months because you were away on holiday. But um, it's never moved backwards. It's only moved forward, really. It's it's never even okay. Maybe slightly sideways with the subs. Yeah. Maybe slightly sideways with the subs, but everything else always works. No, hang on. First we had the JL thirteen yeah. TW five. That was a compromise. We kept everything underneath the floor. And, and that was my, my compromise. I was like, let's just yeah. buy it. That was my limitation. Yeah. Then we knew that we didn't have enough low end extension, so we built a box and then we thought mm, yeah. Brahma could be a good alternative to fill the car because it's uh, capable to play low. But there was an output, but there wasn't the speed. It wasn't yeah, it was, the quality. Yeah. It wasn't transient enough for the quality of the front end. Yeah, I know. Now we put the Morel Ultimo in. Incredible. Really yeah. fast. Like it, yeah, it kept I agree. Up, it kept up, like it's one of the, one of the most accurate subs I heard, but we were missing the last octave. Yeah, so it was actually better than the front sub in terms of speeds and transients. Yeah. It was yeah. really, but it still didn't deliver what we needed. Yeah, because we needed the low end in this car all the time, and yes, we could say that the enclosure on the side of the the boot wasn't large. It was a bit more than one cubic foot. But still, uh, at 22, everything was gone. It wasn't like that, you know, we just had reduced level. There was no extension at all. At 25, we already had loss of um, level with any sub we had in this car. And then when we had Richard from our Patreon channel, who had a free series, BMW, he did something that also inspired me. And then, then you started to press the button, not me. Yeah, I was like, do you know what? You know, you accept where you're at and you always want more. You know, you always yeah. think, how do we get the thing we're missing? Like, there are compromises you have to make. There are sacrifices you have to make. Yep. And I don't mind... Well, we, we, are, we are too far in. <laughs> we are too far in with this project. So, uh, yeah, we can only move forward, really. So some of you might have seen those couple of pictures I shared on our Facebook page, on PS Sound Facebook page, uh, when we took the bumper off and we cut a hole on the side of this car. Uh, now I will have to insert some of those pictures so those who haven't seen it now they will see it in the video where we were having a good laugh with Eddie. At least we didn't have our usual middle finger picture. But then family friendly we, we had a family friendly picture as well. Yep. And as I mentioned, one of our guys had a solution where he had an enclosure on the side but he used it as a manifold because he cut the bottom of it and cut the bottom of the car too. Bottom of the floor and then the sub was breathing downwards with an Acoustic Elegance 15 inch sub. But no, I shared that video on, on the channel as well. We had a video of his BMW on the channel. Yes, we did. Yeah, we, we did that. Um, but the magnet was facing out and it was taking a lot of boot space up. And when you told me that, come on, Pete, let's fit a 15 in my box. So, so actually- uh, I was so, uh, skeptical we would fit. <laughs> so actually, I took, I took my measuring tape and I was like, 15, it's done Peter, just do it, I know you can do it, <laughs> and it really wasn't so simple. <laughs> no, it wasn't so simple at all, because the outer edges are wide, because that's just fibre film mould onto the, to the edge, and the enclosure is literally just as wide as the cutout diameter of the 15, and we need, yeah, we, we had to do a lot of, lot of chisel work to get that 15 in, but we have an acoustic elegance, well, let's open it up, and let's see if I can pop it out. Whoop, that came out for sure. A nice quick speaker grill. Um, but yeah, we have a 15 there now. I, and if I can say, the 15 is more OEM than the 12 because we've got the original yep. boot. So the 12 used to come out more. Yep. Well, the Brahma came out because it has a huge surround and it was deep. Yeah. So we had to build also a Step. large grill because of the excursion of the driver. Yeah. Then the Ultimo needed a spacer ring to be fitted in your box, so that was throwing the sub out plus the grill in front of it yeah. too. So, but 15s are smaller than 12s, that's what we're proving now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yes, this driver definitely doesn't move as much um, as previous. No, the Ultimo didn't have much excursion. 
and that was a big limitation as well. Um, with the Ultimo, even if we take the last octave extension out of the equation, if you really wanted a dynamic system, I, I, I really say that you would need two of those in most of the cars, unless you have a tiny little hatchback like, I don't know, a Clio or a small Golf. That maybe one would be enough for most people. But if you really want to have fun as well at times, then yeah, you would need two. But then you look at the price and the value and it's like, holy shit, it's just Why crazy. Buy four? Yeah, let's buy four. Why not? And then this single 15 delivers more resolution and detail, even an octave lower down to literally 12 hertz. I showed it on Patreon to do. No, I sent a video to you as well. You saw. No, your picture. You had a picture of the response though. Um, this measures all the way down, and it's it's audible from 13, 14, easy. But to listen to, it sounds six times louder and integrates better. In. Yeah. It's 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 more than you. And think. we hardly need any power for it because it's IB and low down. It doesn't draw anything, so you will put even less stress on your yeah. battery and electronics in the car. Yeah, so now actually having that chunky big two channel is an overkill for that sub. Even a single channel would be enough, but then what do we do with the other channel? Mm. Now that's how we can change it. Hang. Yeah, I know, but hang on. No, we didn't talk about the, the layout option. If we just use one channel of this yeah. for the rear sub, one plenty, for one for the front sub, yeah. then we free up, hang on, we free up four channels from your six channel amp. Holy moly. So we need to, we need to, yeah. what should we do guys? <laughs> <laughs> People can vote what, what we do next. Well, we know what we are going to do next because um, unfortunately it's one of those things when people come here, then they get to hear systems from us. And uh, now the S-Class is definitely doing something different than anything we had before. And that's the, the top end detail in that car is just on a whole different level because shit, this is going to be shared before I, I share the S-Class. People don't know what's in it. So maybe, maybe falls. Well, no, well, they've seen, some people have seen the pictures on Facebook and they know I have super tweeters, but I have never shown them, even on the pictures. I kept that secret because sometimes I feel like, you know, I share too much. Sometimes. That, okay, fair enough. That's the only thing I've, I've never shared with anyone, where the super tweeters are. I haven't shared that publicly. However, those Hedress. guys... Headrests. Yeah, it's the headdress, yeah, of course. Um, those who have sat in the S-Class then i showed the location of super tweeters to those people and they get surprised big time and yeah we can tell that there's just a definite definitely a different level of definition in that car and resolution um whether it's the super tweeters whether it's the hardware i have in it because we have micro precision amps with brex dsp and all that madness right now now i'm giving even more information away before sharing anything about the car next week i have to share a video of the s class because it's not fair it's been kept quiet for so long. So, yes, this is a big change that happened in the 6GT now and a few other things. Yeah. Because now you will have the possibility to play with an alternative source. Because we... Switches. What? Shows the light switches on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I show it. I show it. I just want to introduce yeah, yeah, yeah. the reason why we did the changes up front. <laughs> so... So far, for three years, we only had the OEM source on most 25. And as much as it works pretty good, but wherever there's coding, you know, happening, where, where coding is involved, there's a good possibility that some information is lost. And how do you check it if, you know, you don't know it until you use it, so an alternative source. So, so I've, I've listened very quickly and it's, it's quite, quite visible. It's massive to my ears. Well, it will be even more visible when you can then you can spend time with it and then you can use a DAP. Which one do you have? I have 11 Pro, I think. So. Okay. Um, so yeah, today quickly we, we played a few songs through the HD Bluetooth module on the Zapco HDSP5 and some people can say that, oh, you know, it's not lossless. Well, I welcome everyone to sit in our cars with HD Bluetooth streaming where there's no digital to analog conversion, it's digital data transfer straight to the DSP and it's pretty much just as good as, as it can ever get really. So in order to utilize a file in this car we had to relocate the controller and some of you might have noticed that the controller is here now and the car went off and that went off but we can turn it back on, you have to press and hold it or press the car and then it will come back on. Yeah. 
because the most turns the system on and off. Yes, but that's where we used to have the light control switches. Um, so Eddie was creative. He 3D printed this uh, based on the shape of the original panel, which you had to change anyway because it was damaged. Yeah. And then that's where the light switches are. In order to mount that, we yeah, yeah 3D printing was required as well. Uh, so that panel that you see is fully 3D printed, painted, and is bolted in. And it works perfectly fine because in reality, how often do you actually press anything on the light controller when it's usually on auto? The only thing that we, we are missing is the writing on it. We don't have that. But it's left on auto the whole time. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it will work just fine. Um, so we had to relocate that to make space here for the Zapco, but now it's fully accessible, so you will be able to set volume, uh, change between inputs and whatnot, because unfortunately the HDSP5 you don't have auto switch between sources. But then, yeah, this way it will be easy to use an alternative source. Also, the mid base was never finished. Uh, where's the grill? On the back seat. Yeah, because we didn't put the grills in, because this is something you will have to decide. We didn't put the grills in because you said you didn't want them. I, I think just Hang on, I go to the other side and I show it. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. I show this one if you grab that one. So we have these ABS grill. Uh, it's pretty rigid to be fair. And we have a bit of foam on the back to isolate how many rattle when these go in because they can reach the, the focal grill. Today I was explaining to to the young chap, uh, don't don't push it in, you won't be able to take it out, don't put it in. Um, I was explaining to him how pain it was to fit the fork out grill. Did I explain that to you? Yeah, you just pop them in. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So when we installed these drivers up front, so I don't know when, more than a year ago, probably a year ago, I don't know. Yep. Yeah. So the driver was mounted on ply rings, but the ply rings uh, were routed in a way that the driver was flush mounted. So we had a lip around the driver. That lip, yeah, it was like three mil yes. and then like six, seven, eight mil high, as high as the, the basket, sorry, the basket, the edge of the basket. But because of that, we couldn't mount the grill. So it wasn't just like taking the carpet out, putting the grill on. We had to take the rings out. In order to take the rings out, front stop has to come out. Seat has to come out, carpet has to come out, the car has to be lifted. You have to take the under tray off because the bolts are from underneath. So Eddie had to do all of that just to get to the ring. Then he could machine the ring, take that lip off. Then he could assemble everything back again. He could mount the Focal uh, rings and then carry on designing these trim rings, hiding the cut line that we did. And then when these pop in, I'm not going to push it in because they are really, really tight, uh, then it will look somewhat oh yeah yeah and we will need custom floor mats and it will be happy mappy um yeah front sub was also uh made a bit prettier with a new grill and the trim ring around it because before we just had two steel bars and the floor mat in front of it now that looks definitely more presentable people still cry oh someone is gonna step through it oh yeah it's a one seat car <laughs> <laughs> literally oh. so where, where does your wife and the kids go so everyone goes to the back seat no the, tr the truth <laughs> is, is this is a car for just me and myself and my daughter my wife if never comes in this we go in that, you know, in the family car yeah. yeah yeah true was that fixed long story long okay we don't Sen enter that sending master technicians from germany putting them up in hotels to tr troubleshoot it <laughs> trust me Jeez. okay um, so yeah, now we are at the stage that certain things look prettier. We have a true IB sub at the back and it does work stunning, just like anything. And I know for many people it's boring that, oh, you know, when someone asks what IB sub to use, they always recommend Acoustic Elegance is getting so boring. Well, until I can fit Acoustic Elegance or anything at that level to any customer, whether it's boring or not, it works. Until someone shows me something better. 
Okay, now One Audio is a brand that you are not familiar with. FI started a new company um, and they do only IB subs in that uh, sister company. And they seem to have great alternatives now to Acoustic Elegance, but personally I haven't used any of them yet. We will see, because they have the IB2. The IB3 is still pretty much the same thing as they had from FI. And they have new models coming out as well, some crazy beasts. But when it comes to pure sound quality and accuracy, we will see what the IB2 is from them. At some point, I'm sure I will use it. But there are not many other options when you want really refined, sensitive response from a sub. There are many subs that can play crazy output and play low, but it's a different story how it blends, how transient it is. Nobody actually you know, bothers to talk about that. So, so this is this is not booming. This is for the first time. It's pressurized my cabin, like truly pressurized. Yeah. Cabin. Any any, any instant that. change, you you feel, you yeah. tell. It's pressurized the cabin, yeah. and it's done it with quite a degree of authority. And if I say one of the things that I was concerned about the most was what would happen yeah. here. And nothing is flexing. However, I will have to present pictures here why we I'm don't have flex. We were surprised because I was expecting that bumper to fly away. Um, however, I was hopeful that the fact that underneath the, the bumper we have a thick plastic panel that bolts to the car at like six points. So underneath this bumper there's a completely the same shape mold from plastic rigid. that rigid that supports the bumper. But the bumper is not attached to it. It just sits over it. It's probably just like a support or maybe even against crash. I don't know. Um, but we, we isolated the whole bumper with carpet. So whenever the carpet can, sorry, the, the bumper can touch anything, it's, it's soft. It's not going to create buzz. Um, we definitely don't have any issue with that. And we have, don't have any flex because that panel takes the pressure as a first hit. So the pressure is not going straight onto the bumper. Many people now may think that this is a great solution for their cars. And if you don't have that panel underneath the bumper, then get ready that your bumper will possibly fly away. Because in the TT, we have half an inch flex. Yeah, because in the TT, the sub is opened up towards the back okay. and the whole bumper is working out you need to proper. Brace, you need to brace the bumper. I don't know what, well, Chris doesn't bother because okay. if he flexes, he flexes. It can, it can flex outside. It doesn't create much buzz because we isolated it the same way, but you can physically see it moving heavily. <laughs> Um, and one, once it got loose, yeah, we had to retighten the, the, the top bolts as the bumper sits back on, there are two bolts. Um, but yeah, this one worked out fantastic. There's no limitation that now people say that the, the box creates any colorization to the sound. It just outlets effortlessly. Honestly, it worked out as good as it can get. No, I, I'm thoroughly impressed. We're not changing that from now on. You said there's you said there's this new one that's what acoustic elegance no no, no the new company one audio they have I, I'm, I'm just joking, I'm joking. <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> yeah. this is the fourth sub in this car this is staying there's a reason why I have that in mind as well until someone shows me something better for accuracy and risk you know extension I'm up for it I mean so, so, so for me in my car you know this is my work for me. I put these down and I put fridges in this car. Yeah. I put everything. So Potato sex. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I do all of that. I use it. It's my work tool. I, I've got no loss of space. Yeah, there's no, None. no other car like this on the market. Yeah, Because this has the platform of the 7 Series. Yeah. The luxury of the 7 Series. Yeah. But, but practicality. Yeah. We don't tip the seats now because we have yeah, a lot of stuff yeah, on yeah. the back seat. But you have buttons and then they yeah. go flat. Yeah. And, and it's huge. Yeah, definitely. And now, finally, for the first time, we have a new floor. And then, look, the sub is just in line. We cleared it. It's tight, but yeah, we managed to squeeze the 15 in. It wasn't an easy job, but it went in. So, yay, it looks presentable now. It plays good. I might, I might let people, it's a stage I might let people listen to it at this point. When? <laughs> well, we will have a meeting in two weeks in Brighton, to be fair, and we will have one in November. Okay. Um, so yeah, in two weeks' time on Saturday, we will have a meeting in Brighton. I haven't advertised it on Facebook yet, but now the guys will hear it. Probably I will share this video on Sunday, uh, which is tomorrow, because we are shooting it on Saturday. 
and we will have one meeting i think around the 10 11th of november or something like that um that i was looking at actually today that could work um many people could come to that from abroad as well because last year we had the guys was it yeah you were there yeah we had the guys from lithuania you were there that was your first meeting you came to and yeah we were there till like i don't know 9 30 <laughs> late it was, a, it was a nice thing we were kicked out a few times from the car parks <laughs> Um, we were wandering around, going from one car park to another one, but it was good fun. So, okay, we just wanted to have a quick update of it, because we had so many videos of this car. And to be fair, the last time when you were here, we didn't have the chance to take a video. Uh, when we did the changes to the mid-base. I think we shared pictures, probably. Yeah. Hell knows. We did so many changes to this yeah, car along the time. Because there were so many ideas mid-base, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. But now, there you go. Now we know we can reconfigure the M channels, we will have extra channels. We can do fancy super tweeters in the car now. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Why not? Why not? It can only get better. All right. Cool. All right. We cut it here. Uh, I drop a link to description for the playlist of this car. And then people can check all of it. I don't know. We definitely have a couple of videos of this project. And then, uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>